So in my last video I explained what this is and now we're going to see an action. So I'm currently zeroing my uh, little 35 degree tool here onto the part until it sticks. Step by step by step, let's go forward a bit. And they're stuck, so I call that Z0. And I just realized that uh, my X is not zeroed. Currently says negative 15 inches. So for this part, uh, outside tolerance is unimportant. I just want to scrape the ugly off. So I'm going to go in until my 2000 shim hits. Right about there. Now it's stuck. So 0.75 diameter plus 2 thou on each side is um, 0.754. Zero that. And now we can start cutting. A for cycle start. Let's go. All right, I did something wrong. I'm just going to verify my Z because I heard something skip. It's only five thou off. What about you? You are off like crazy. Right now it says 0.36 diameter. I don't think so. Now I don't know why it just did that. Point 0.754. I know why. It's because my code is wrong. I tried to repurpose an old code. Um, here, let me show you. Let's see. Currently, the end of the part is 1.34. However, the code says start at a clearance of 1.325, and then uh, the first cut will be 1.3, which is like 40 thou that I don't have. And for some reason, the spindle didn't turn on. I don't know why. So I got to edit the code. Uh, because of the longer part, which I didn't anticipate. No big deal, be right back. Let's try that again, shall we? Again, my spindle is not turning on, come on. I know why. Sometimes when I cancel the code by hitting the limit switch or escape or whatever, uh, this the spindle signal doesn't turn off on Mach 3, so it still thinks it's on even though it's actually off. So I have to go into Mach 3 and physically click the stop button. 
Now it knows that the spindle is off, and now it's gonna work. Let's go. Or not. You're being stupid. Okay, so I can turn it on in Mach 3. Let's try it again. There we go. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Now we flip it over. Onto the backstop. Run the rest of the code. There's a pause in the code so that I can do this. Ta-da! Not bad. Let's check the length. I can just zero these. I don't know why they're off. Check the length. I'm going for 1.25. Uh, well, 1.24. I was pretty sloppy with my... Uh, backstop uh, zeroing but as you can see I bet you they're all gonna be 1.24 so that's that's it and you probably can't see it in the video but right in the middle when I was facing each side I went just just uh, before center line in a straight pass and then I tapered outwards and then no I think I went to center line and then tapered outwards and then the other side I went to center line and then tapered outwards so that the outside diameter here, only by about a thou. Seven three four, supposed to be seven four nine or something. Um, seven three six in the middle, and seven three four in there, and that's just uh, so that there's not a big lip, because when you rechuck it uh, on the other side, it's this chuck is not very rotationally concentric. So when you move the part, there's going to be a little lip where you uh, flipped it, unless you do the taper trick. But it works great. Next operation, drill one side quarter inch, drill the other side three eighths, uh, put it on the mill and drill four uh, 0 0.2 holes and then tap them for M6. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.